Good morning. Holy moly, check out the traffic in the other direction. We're heading to Polly's vein clinic appointment follow up. Um, so yeah, we're going the other way. OMG. Wow. Okay, don't speed, please. Um, I'm watching you speed. You think all the cops are busy? <laughs> wow. This is, that's crazy. Not going anywhere fast. No. That just. I, I, I've been in that situation before, and it, yeah. it does not feel good. Speaking of, we should probably gas up my car. Yes, yeah, so we don't. Okay, thank you. Car, you're gassed. Okay. Wow. Oh, hold on a no, don't gas it that way, please, because oh. you would gas me out. I, don't get into it yet. I have not seen a parking lot. Oh, look, UPS freight stuck in the midst of it. You see any U-Hauls? That's a UPS. Um, oh, you know, uh, right there. Well, no, no. no. They have to have a black thing on the side. Um, I did yeah. give her. Oh, yeah, there's, there's where it starts or ends. So take, I, I did give everybody a heads up that if. Uh, right there, we should take that exit on the way home. Uh, yeah. Well, well. <coughs> I did give give everyone. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I gave everyone a heads up if they see a U-Haul truck or a rider truck. Uh, with a UPS driver inside, it's because they have they put out extra trucks out on the road to deliver. Really? Yeah. Uh, well, look at that cop. That cop shouldn't be. Uh, I'm gonna arrest him. Why is he by himself and he's using the express lane? Yeah. Why did he do that for? He can't do that. You put on his lights or anything. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why he's doing that. So anyway, we're heading over there, and then hopefully afterwards we're gonna swing by Restaurant Depot. Restaurant Depot. To check out. Big shrimp. <laughs> We have, I, you, I told you, I found five pounds of shrimp in our freezer. We can get some shrimp. Fresh. There's our new sister. Christmas. Chuck a con. Chuck a con? Oh, there's more cops. Oh, more cop action. This. Okay, that's, there's two more. Oh, he's heading the other way. Maybe he's meeting up a friend. Yes. Look at that. Oh, there, lights there on. Are you lights are on. Lights on. He's going to go in the other direction, Direction though. You're oh, he's... You know why? He was he's going over to where all the traffic well, he's is. Sitting there and watching for the traffic. You do that all the time. Look, oh, he is. He's going. I was right. Cops are all over. They're accepting. They said Paul Vance was on the radio. Said they're stepping up enforcement. Really? Until the fourth of January. Yeah. Oh. These guys are for gonna our make Google bucks for our anniversary. Yeah. Uh oh. He's talking to a person. Yeah. All right. So we're. Uh, um, We'll stop over at Restaurant Depot afterwards um, to see. Well, first I wanna I wanna surprise you with a couple of the bunt pans that are on sale. So for Hanukkah, check a con. Oh, it's there a are three. Oh, oh, a bunt. What's it's a bunt? A bunt. <laughs> okay. Okay. Who's that? Where's that from? If you can find, if you can tell us, yeah. Please email. You get you, you get bonus points. Leave it in the comments below. Lambsicles. 40 pounds of lamb. So we're home from Restaurant Depot. It was so frigid in the, cause it's a walk. For those of you who have never been, there is a portion of the um, store that is a walk-in cooler. Literally walk-in cooler. And I walked in not wearing any sockies. So I was so effing cold. We picked up some shrimp, which I'm going to make right now because we're gonna bring um, some to my sister's tomorrow and we're having a salad bar, which is a great idea besides just pizza and pasta and all that. So uh, we'll have some protein. She's making some chicken, grilled chicken. I'm gonna make some shrimp. So I'm gonna use my little infuser. I'm gonna add uh, black peppercorns, whole peppercorns, some bay leaf in here, and um, some lemons. Um, sorry, some lemons, because um, it always, shrimp cooks best in a little bit of acidulated water. So that's what I have in here, and I'm gonna cook the entire three pounds. Probably gonna bring about a pound and a half, because these are, I think these are, uh, these were U15s? 15, 16 per pound. So yeah, you could see how big they are. And I don't even wanna refrigerate them, I'm just gonna cook them right away. So, and once they're cooked, I'm gonna cool them, put them in Ziploc bags, one will stay here. One will go um, to my sister's tomorrow. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm so excited about using my infuser that I don't have to worry about pulling out peppercorns out of everywhere. So let me show you what that looks like in a sec. 
So there's some peppercorns and two bay leaves. I don't have to worry about remembering them or how many I put in. I'm just going to clasp this. Hold on, let me align this. Clasp this closed and pop it in the water and hang it on the side. Look at that. I got. So that's going to infuse it. I am going to salt the water liberally. I'm going to add the lemon juice and then a whole lemon. I don't care about the seeds because I still have to peel the uh, shrimp skin. So I think I'm going to cut another lemon and put that in there. And then put in the shrimp and really cook them only until they become opaque. I don't want to overcook them because I don't want to make them rubber. So I think sometimes people overcook shrimp and seafood in general. So yeah, uh, I'm going to do that off camera, but I'll show you what they look like when they're done and peeled. They look so good. <laughs> Irish Car Bomb Cupcake from Norris Cupcakes. Haha, <laughs> gorgeous, delicious. And I posted a picture of it on my Instagram feed and because we picked this up at Molly McFly's that we had lunch at and they shared it on their wall um, with credit to the photo to me. So cute. I even got a sticker to take home. So these are the other things that we picked up. The eggs are ours obviously, our, our chickens. And um, we get a wheel of camembert. Uh, we got some mascarpone cheese, some sauerkraut, blueberries, uh, a stick of goat cheese, a giant bag of spinach. Yes, giant bag. I'm going to divide that between my sister and myself. And then we picked up some of these half sheet pans that were on sale this month at, or are on sale this month at Restaurant Depot. I also picked up two of these shakers to have my favorite herb mix or the no salt seasoning in there. Got some Ziploc bags. Oh, I know what I forgot to show. I told my sister about. I picked up 100 sheets of Nori, the Gold Queen, and this was $5.25. So, you know, I eat sushi, we make sushi here. So I got two of these and then, oh, hold on, let me pan you over. Let me close it. It'll be dark for a second. I promise, I'll hold your hand. So there's the quarter sheet pan size. Oh, we got three. Two of the half sheet, three of the quarter sheet. Three pound container of whole milk ricotta, which is four, was $4, um, insane, insanely affordable. And then a bag of hazelnuts or filberts. <laughs> So good. I love hazelnuts. So I might make my own hazelnut butter. It might be good. So this bag was, it's not inexpensive. This is their own brand, the Restaurant Depot first produce. I think this was $17.59. So yeah. Nuts! Where'd you get nuts? Oh, hello, Chester. You rarely make an appearance in the kitchen. What would you like, honey? Chester. 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 He's having a hard time hearing. What do you want, honey? I don't have anything to give you yet. So I'm going to keep an eye on my shrimp because I don't want them to overcook. But then I'm going to go get working on Eli's um, invitations. Oh, and I know. I still owe the story of Hanukkah, which I will try to do today. But in the meantime, uh, I don't know. I love seeing nuts and shells. <laughs> I think I'm a little nuts myself, so that's all right. Okay. Check it out, it's a sink full of shrimp. I'm gonna add it in cold, cold water. To shock them from continuing to cook, I'm gonna throw out the lemons. Um, ooh. And I'm going to peel them, devein them, and put them away in the fridge. So that's dinner. It's a little filet, gorgeous. Seared outside, medium rare inside. Creamed spinach and pearl onions, and a little baked potato. I think the potato is bigger than the steak. So I'm wrapping my evening up, but I wanted to share with you what Polly gave me for... Mm -mm. He gave me multiple gifts today for Hanukkah. <laughs> he gave me this cute set of storage containers. And the cool thing about these is that the lids have grooves in them. So the compartments inside meet up 
completely so even if things jostle around they won't lose they won't fall out of the little compartment no matter how small or big they are so that's the larger one and it was a two pack he said i'm sorry it's pink i'm like it's okay he goes i tried to find a black one <laughs> and then this one has two sides and each side opens up like this with a flip and these are adjustable so you could take um, some out I could put my tools in here or I could put all of the little finding things for you know picture hanging uh, extra screws from uh, curtain rod sets um, nails um, screw eye things like uh, all the stuff that just kind of happens to fall in various places in exactly the same one in the back so that was really cute he goes I'm sorry that it's pink I'm like honey it's fabulous I really love it um, if I remember I don't know if I threw out the cardboard it had a cardboard band around them and then this he got from a consignment shop and this is ceramic and I have one of the I actually have the exact same blue one on my windowsill in the kitchen where I put my rings on when I do dishes or if I'm cooking but there was a chip I think out of the thumb so he found one for me that didn't have a chip so I'm going to recycle the other one I kind of feel bad about throwing the other one out but it was very sweet of him I love the way this looks when sunlight hits it in the window so and then this one I might bring upstairs uh, and put on my dresser and then the tools the man knows me so well so all the tools in this house are mine including Polly no just kidding just kidding just kidding he I'm poo-pooing him after he gives me these fabulous gifts. So this is a Craftsman multi-head compound joint pliers, and it's a four-piece set. So it has the plier with a locking mechanism and uh, this original um, eight-inch long nose attachment and the handles. And it has two more heads that you could swap out, which is brilliant. So, you know, <laughs> space, always an issue, especially if you throw stuff into a toolbox. So it's a three-in-one tool, and then the fourth piece, I know you see um, I oh know it is four pieces. One, two, three, four. Unless you go one, two, three, and there's also a uh, little carrying thing with a belt clip on it. <laughs> Just thought it was cool. So, <clears throat> and I do have a um, craftsman tool bag, which I really need to pull all my tool, put all my tools in. And then this thing is super fabulous. So we have wrenches. We have, oh, sorry about the glare. We have multiple sets of wrenches all over the basement, um, workbench. Again, I have to organize this plate, that space. However, this replaces 14 different wrenches. Watch what happens when you ratchet the handle. You see that? It adjusts to grab whatever it is you're trying to use the wrench on. Brilliant! So it goes from, um, let's see, 12 millimeters to 20 millimeters with one millimeter increments. See that? Or half inch, 9 sixteenths, 5 eighths, 11 sixteenths, 3 quarter inch. That's pretty smart. So excited. And it will, um, work on hex, partially rounded hex, and external torques. I've never even seen one of these, but you know, I put away, put together plenty of furniture, so this will go into my tool bag. So that's what I'm gonna work on tomorrow. Maybe, maybe not. One of my free, when I, cat hair on here, um, find some free time, I'm gonna put my tool bag together and maybe I'll share what's in my tool bag because the right tool for the right job makes the job that much easier. For those of you who craft, absolutely understand that. Well, it applies to, you know, repair tools as well, obviously. So yeah, that's what I got for Hanukkah so far in addition to the cat book, which is really funny. Polly's been reading it as well. Um, and other stuff. I've got other stuff. No, I can't remember. I'll have to watch other videos, but uh, I'll share with you as I receive more because he said that there's more. And uh, again, it 
Hanukkah gift exchange is really for kids, but he treats me kind of like his princess, so I guess I get presents. Oh, and I finally cleaned up that space above the stove. Oh, the oils are out of order. And that little container has no salt uh, flavoring, which is the, you know, re salt replacement flavoring. So, yeah. Oh, and you know what? I will show you what Hanukkah means in the next clip.